Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the perks of being a lesbian. Lesbian. I'm a lesbian. Do you, do you hear that? L-E-S-B-I-A-N. I stand out in a crowd, I am a one in ten. You sneeze to stop. You don't have to use protection. There's no pregnancy risks. You can stay friends with your exes. Lesbians have the lowest amount of risk for STDs. I see it all the time. Heck, I'm even in contact with my first girlfriend. I personally think you can stay friends with your ex-lesbian lovers because, well, either A, you weren't together long, or B, you were best friends for like a long time and then one day it's just like, bam, I want to have sex with you and you want to have sex with me and it happened. So then we were just in love and it was amazing and we wanted to be together forever and then it failed. Then we're like, eh, I guess we'll go back to being friends. After all, the term you haul didn't just come out of nowhere. It happens. Your closet doubles sharing clothes. And in my case, I can even share shoes. We have the same shoe size. We wear the same shirt size. One thing is different is our pants. Of course, when I wear her stuff, like this hat, I look a lot more gay. If you check out a hot girl, you can just pretend you're appreciating her outfit. When you're young and uh, your parents don't know yet, sleep overs. No risk of falling into the toilet. Toilet seat stays down where it belongs. Cuddling. Cuddling during the day. Cuddling during the night. Cuddling at random times. And even after sex cuddles. You don't even have to force them. If both lesbians are femmes, you can do your hair and your nails and your makeup and just, you know, go shopping. My girlfriend loves shopping with me. She's not a femme, but she loves shopping. She'll go into the stores with me, tells me what she thinks looks good on me, and wait while I try everything on. She'll hold things, and no complaints. No rushing. You can kiss them without worrying about their face burning your face with their rough beard. Their skin is so soft. Women's skin. Amazing. Lip gloss tastes yummy. Sticky, but yummy. And hey, that's a great way to share. If you need lip gloss and she needs lip gloss, you can just put it on and then you can kiss her. And then bam, you both have lip gloss on and there's no blotting necessary. The L word. Enough said. You can be like, oh wow, I really think Bet's hot. Wow, Shane is just so sexy and I want to sleep with her. And your girlfriend won't get mad because she understands. You can go into public restrooms with your girlfriend. So I personally kind of just keep it in the, I'm going here to go to the bathroom, please don't talk to me or communicate with me because this is awkward. This is a big perk over being a lesbian couple versus a gay couple. It's cheaper to get a sperm donor than it is to get an egg donor. You always have a pillow with you. These are pillows that go everywhere. If someone's bony but still has boobs, at least they're a little bit comfortable. Guys, lost fucking cause. You don't feel totally gross if you don't shave your legs because you know that she's probably not going to shave them either. It's winter. Who cares? Your partner's not as grossed out by your period. I personally think that's a lot easier to buy a present for your girlfriend than buying a present for your boyfriend. This is just a fact. Masturbation is actually practice for sex. You don't need to fake anything. They pretty much know what you want because they understand how your body works. And if they're not doing it right, you can explain it to them very easily and BAM! Amazing sex. As many chick flicks as you want. You can cry with them because they understand emotions. And they can be like, I'm fine with a girl. And I'd be like, what's wrong? And they're like, nothing. And then they'll be like, just, just tell me, you'll know you feel better when you tell me. Amazing kissers. Every girl I've kissed. It's just like their lips are just amazing. I feel like when you get pregnant, your partner's probably be more understanding because they're a woman. And also, if you desire to not carry every child, but you want four children, but you don't want to give birth four times, you might have a partner who wants to give birth too. So hey, you don't have to pop them all out yourself. <laughs> they get to do some of the work. When you're older, menopause, you go through it together. You don't have an not understanding husband who's annoying the crap out of you just doesn't get what you're going through. The only thing I think you ever really have to worry about is if your partner ever gets, well, arthritis. That would suck. 
Hope you enjoyed Perks of Being a Lesbian. See you next time.